You know, we are in a difficult situation in our world. And interestingly, God says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, he's going to raise up a standard. And you and I and all of us here are part of the standard that God is raising up in this generation. But God has done that throughout history. And I want to tell you the story of how he raised up three young men. When everyone else was going the wrong way, they chose to go the right way. The story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the blazing furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold 90 feet high and 9 feet wide and set it up in the plain of Dur in the province of Babylon. He then summoned the satraps, prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other provincial officials to come to the dedication of the image that he had set up. So the satraps, prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other provincial officials assembled for the dedication of the image that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And they stood before it. Then the herald loudly proclaimed, This is what you are commanded to do, O peoples, nations, and men of every language. As soon as you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp pipes, and all kinds of music, you must fall down and worship the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace. Therefore, as soon as they heard the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, hype, and all kinds of music, all the peoples, nations, and men of every language fell down and worshipped the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. At this time, some astrologers came forward and denounced the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. You have issued a decree, O king, that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes, and all kinds of music must fall down and worship the image of gold. And that whoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown into a blazing furnace. But there are some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who pay no attention to you, O king. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold you have set up. Furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar summoned Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So these men were brought before the king. And Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods? Or worship the image of gold I have set up? Now, when you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes, and all kinds of music, if you're ready to fall down and worship the image I made, very good. But if you do not worship it, you'll be thrown immediately into a blazing furnace. <laughs> then what God will be able to rescue you from my hand? Hmm? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it. And he will rescue us from your hand, O king. But even if he does not, we want you to know, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and his attitude toward them changed. He ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than usual, huh? <laughs> and he commanded some of the strongest soldiers of his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. So these men, still wearing their robes, trousers, and uh, helmets and other, were bound and thrown into the blazing furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace was so hot that the flames of fire killed the men who brought up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. Then, 
king. Nebuchadnezzar, huh? <laughs> Leap to his feet in amazement. And as his advisors, weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, certainly, O oh king. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire. Unbound and unharmed. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, uh, <coughs> Shadrach, <laughs> and Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> they come here. <laughs> so Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire. And the satraps, prefects, governors, and royal advisors crowded around them. They saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies. Neither was a hair of their head singed. Their robes were not scorched. And there was no smell of fire on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angel and rescued his servants. They trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be cut into pieces and their houses turned into piles of rubble. For no other god can save in this way. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. And that is how God saved three young men and raised up a standard from a blazing furnace. <laughs> 